This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, hello, Kishore. I think uh, this another candidate is not joining today. Let me start if he will join. He will join in meanwhile and session. Yeah, can you hear me? This conference will now be recorded. So this practice system you can access through remote access, okay? and uh, the way of accessing it you just go to start in your computer okay and type the address type the ip address whatever we will give it to you and you click on it and you need to enter the user id and password then it will take you to the remote access control another system so there it will work like how we are working on our system only okay so we can take a control and we can do the practice why we are doing it like this because CPM need a different components to be used uh, in, in a complete process. Like, first of all, uh, our CPM system, commercial project management, and then your ERP system, your project system, your uh, this sales and distribution and other systems, other core system, apart from that analysis office. So if you have analysis office in your system, and if you are not getting any error, any bug, then you can directly use in your system also like you can you can have the sap gui in your system you can configure the system and you can access it directly but analysis office is very complicated so i am suggesting you to just directly do the practice on remote access only okay so if we are if you are getting any error we can correct it and you can you will not face any any issue okay so one second So let us understand the architecture of uh, a CPM, how it is working, okay? Uh, just a second. Let me open one PPT. So what we have exactly, let us understand from this. So here agenda is SAP CPM business process, what we have in SAP CPM, SAP CPM product information, okay. Then standard rules, how we can access the different view within a SAP CPM system, okay. Understand the project workspace cross project view and then questions answer. So our main focus to understand first basic things in cpm system then we'll go technically how it's working okay so uh, we have already seen this process directly i'll take you to here product information then i'll come back here okay product information sap cpm sap commercial project management the component technical name is cacpd okay so 
whenever we are checking anything with reference to cpm system always you will see the code cacpd this is a this is a complete code cacpd which is being used for commercial project management okay and this cacpd again it is divided into software component okay first is a cpd 200 this is a cpd 200 another is a software component picm 200 okay and again the software component cpd 200 is divided into sub component two sub component one is a project workspace cacpd ws and another is a project cost and revenue planning cacpd fp another side software component picm 200 is divided in project issue and change management cacpd picm only in one sub component so total we have three sub component in cacpd first is a project workspace and there is a project cost and revenue planning and third one is project issue and change management so if you see the name of all these sub component based on that we have other functionality in the system okay so project work is piece that is a one com so one component and project cost and revenue planning another sub component and project issue and change management third sub component so we can use all three in a same client side same implementation or out of three we can have a combination of two okay so there are different way to install it okay sure can you can you mute from your side because i'm getting some disturbance if you have any question then just only ask okay you can unmute and you can ask yeah hi paco how are you uh, hi rama fine thanks yeah so uh, so today only just i'm explaining the basic because one more candidate is also there and then i'll take you to some uh, next step today okay oh okay yeah yeah sure thank yeah. you <clears throat> so here uh, we can have a combinations of uh, uh, the sub components let's say the project work space the major functions of project work space to create a master project okay so master project creation comes under the work space and along with the master project uh, mass master project creation if you want to do the cost and revenue planning in that case we need to use two sub components okay so and then we we want to capture the issue and change request also then this sub component also need to be installed so this is a basis job to install uh, the sub component in the system and cpm can be uh, like as of now uh, as of now because uh, if you are if you are an old system like before s4 hana you had a choice that whether you want to keep it in same same your erp system as a add-on or if you want to keep it as a separate server okay so this was a choice but in s4 hana always it will be a, as a add-on in your system so <clears throat> And here, this is a product information, latest product information. Uh, we have a product SAP commercial project management CACPD. So if we are asking to basis guy to know whether we have SAP commercial project management is installed in our system or not. So we have to ask him CACPD whether it is there or not. Uh, release is 2.6 sub component. Again, sub component what I explained here. These are the sub component which I need to check. So if all the install we will have all this information in my system project work space project cost and revenue planning project issue and change management so these are the all technical course based on whatever what are the other things which is supporting to execute the system transactions that is the sap enhancement package 7 for sap erp cpd 200 and sap netweaver 7.5 picm 200 all these information you can get it in sap commercial project management administration guide this this document is available on internet however i'll also uh, i'll also send it to you for further study basically this document contains all the information how you can install the sap uh, cpd cacpd component and what are the different combinations of sub component to install the system okay I'll explain it few of most uh, important uh, steps from uh, this uh, uh, this admin guide. 
Okay, so this is a CPM uh, architecture. How exactly the system is getting the data from different place from different system. Okay, so here uh, you can see this. This is a fury shells. Okay, so in S4 HANA, uh, we have uh, many uh, different uh, apps available in fury to access a different transaction in in in, uh, in CACPD in commercial project management. Okay, so in fury you can access three way that is a floor plan manager okay another is a fury apps and third one is a fury launchpad and apart from that you can access the transaction through sap business object analysis office so this business object analysis office is just like excel but you are adding more functionality in that excel okay so based on this add-on which you have added in the excel you are getting the access of all the uh, different uh, workbook format and you are doing the transaction in it and you are getting you you are able to save this data in database okay so i'll let you know where exactly we are using uh, this part this is a just like a form you can enter the details and the values will be saved in backend and you can transfer this data to project system here it is a SAP commercial project management CPM S4 H200. This is an architecture uh, technical details here. Okay, and through SAP Gateway, SAP UI add on, CPM UI add on, user interface add on, and based on that, you are getting all these details in Fury. Okay, and another side, this is your SAP HANA database table, and here it's CDS view. And based on the CD, CDS view, all transactional, analytical, and enterprise, these all functions will be available here. And CPM is getting all information uh, from all these different views. Okay. And here, this is other business application. This is to just understand it is not exactly like how uh, the system is connected. Okay. It is to just show you how data is flowing. Okay. That's it. But I'll explain in my words how data is flowing exactly within a CPM. Okay. So this is the uh, flow, data flow, CPM data flow, understanding how the system is uh, communicating data between different systems. Okay. So let me explain uh, one second. So in this system, in CPM system, okay, what we have is exactly here. See, this is CPM system, okay, CPM. And in this CPM system, let's just consider one simple cycle which i explained in my demo okay so let's say you are the company who's providing the services and product to your customers okay and you are getting any 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 request for quotation from your client based on that you need to prepare the bid document so in that case what you will do you will create one opportunity first of all you will create an opportunity in crm system if crm is implemented if CRM is not implemented directly, your sales team or your marketing team, whoever preparing the document for bid, they will create the master project. Okay. So basically, if you go with the standard practice, this this job, this particular transaction has to be executed by the CRM manager, customer relationship management manager. So I'm just taking, I'm just considering the CRM is already implemented in your organization so what you can do you can create an opportunity okay when based on this opportunity what you will do you will create a you will create a master project okay so this master project when you are creating this is with reference to your opportunity okay and 
when you are creating master project, this will have some basic information which you can copy from opportunity or you can directly enter within a master project. OK, so what exactly it will have? It will have the information, basic information. What is your client required? Services name and product name. OK, what is the timelines from which date to which date we have to deliver these services and products to my customer? What is the customer name? OK, prospect basically as of now, this is our prospect. This is not a real client, but in system we are considering him as a. Uh, customer, OK? So we will create a business partner and we will get this business partner in master project or in opportunity. And after that, we will have uh, product information that already the timelines that is fine. And uh, that's it. OK, and what is the limit also like uh, what is what is his uh, uh, range of investment that can also be there, but directly we don't have anything to mention here in. Uh, uh, in master project, but there are different fields where you can get all this information. OK, so here what we are doing, we are creating opportunity. It will have the basic information and from opportunity to we are transferring. We are creating a master project and in S4 HANA, you can directly create a master project from CRM opportunity that is possible. OK, but in an older version, it is not possible. In older version, what we were doing, we were creating opportunity and we were creating a master project and a master project itself we were assigning the opportunity to uh to that field that particular field so we were linking it manually okay so here the the question comes what is my master project is this the same project which we are considering in ps is this the same project which we are considering ppm it is not exactly the same okay but the meaning it is it is similar so master project basically it is an umbrella which is having all your sub process of any project or. OK, in another word, the master project is providing an umbrella to entire process and the the the, the object object of it. So let's say when we are asking when we are talking about service or product delivery to my client. We are not focusing only from that point when we got the contract okay and when we started to work on planning and execution then we close the project we are talking about from first point for first stage when we are participating in the bid means when we are providing all the quotation to my client okay then when we are getting it we are having all the information then we are converting into my project to execute it so i am having I am having before that prior to that when we are really going to plan or execute my project. And again, the same master project can have multiple projects to be executed. OK, so it is providing a complete umbrella where we are getting all the different information and we are executing different processes and objects. OK, so here uh, uh, let me let's say I'll take one example of master project. In another words, let's say. You are a real estate company, OK, you are a, you, you are you are an uh, you are a real estate company or developer. OK, so what your client is asking you. Yeah, so let's say this is a real estate company and uh, you are a contract developer. Let's say and uh, any government organization is asking to develop some area. Let's say they are asking the government is asking to construct some affordable house. OK, for their public for, for low, low category people. OK, and then then government will give it to donate these all houses to uh, the public. OK, so what? what they are doing they are asking that this particular area we want to develop and that area we need a different different facility okay so let's say this facilities are let's say it will have the affordable house 
row house one second this will have affordable house okay and this will have school this will have cricket ground and this will have one system a one 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 commercial arcade so this will have a row house row houses this will have a schools school sports ground this will have a commercial arcade okay but what government is saying let's say the name of this area is wish town okay so what they are saying wish town development okay Yeah, 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 I can, I can hear you. Okay. Do you have any question, please? No, I just mean. Yeah. So what we are, what, what, uh, what government is asking? They are asking that we need to develop this area, and they are calling this 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 project name as a wish town development. And what they are asking, it should have the row houses, it should have the schools, it should have the sport ground, and it it should have the commercial arcade. So for government, the project is same. For government, the project is wish town development. So as a contractor, as a developer, when I'll get all information and when I'll communicate with government, I'll go with only the name wish town development, right? I'll not, I'll not ask about uh, like uh, row houses and school and sport grounds are my different projects. So what I'll do, I'll create a master project. I'll create a master project naming wish town development to communicate to my customer to communicate to my government okay and what what i will do once i'm getting this contract okay then i can create a four different project within it to execute it so my first project will be a row house another will be school third one is development of sport ground and fourth one is development of commercial arcade okay so these four different project i can create in project system right and these four different project i can assign to my master project so master project is not exactly the project which we are creating in ps that is not one to one relationship it is a one to many as per our requirement right and here itself let us consider the same example which i am discussing now here so when when government government is asking us to provide uh, the request for quotation right when they are sending a request for quotation we need to provide a complete quotation or in other words we need to participate in the bid so what i'll do first of all i'll create a master project and based on this master project i'll prepare a bidding document so when i'm preparing the bidding document it has to be prepared in one excel like sheet which we are calling it is an analysis office okay so in analysis office we will prepare it and we will send it to the customer once we are getting it we will change the status and then we will take it forward for further planning 
okay so this is to just understand how we are flowing how and how we are going to be see in the different process in the system so i hope this this concept is clear here right yeah so what i was explaining uh, the, how the data is flowing here okay so when i'm talking about here uh, when we are preparing the bidding document here so i have created a master project okay and then when i created a master project then i need to i need to prepare a bidding document so when i preparing a bid document i have to work in analysis office eo okay and when you are doing any any transactions here data will communicate it through bw so let's say when you are preparing bid document here in analysis office and you want to take some details price details from the erp system from your project system okay let's say uh, for the same example which i was explaining here uh, you need to uh, you need to uh, deploy your project manager for next one year okay on this project and you want to consider a rate for this project manager and if you are using the process of kp26 activity cost center planning right so you can define your rates in kp26 and based on that you can get your information here in analysis office and you can calculate the total price for the project manager for one year right so based on that you can consider the cost in your bidding document so from where you are getting the details you are getting from erp system okay so how the data is flowing to analysis office here this is your erp system so from erp from uh, in erp system you will have cost center you will have activity type right and with reference to these two object you are doing you are you are planning the cost in kp26 and once you have planned here and if you want to use the same cost same price here in analysis office first of all your master data your activity activity type and cost center should be available in analysis office okay then based on this information system will fetch the price system will fetch the rate to analysis office so how it will fetch this will fetch through bw directly we don't have anything to communicate to analysis office from erp okay so what we need to do we need to load the master data to bw if you hear this name loading of data to bw right whenever we are whenever we are uh, developing any report uh, or any, any executing any report that time we are loading the data to bw yes 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 yeah. kishore yeah uh, one question could be activity types or could be cost elements too we can use both of them or or it's only using activity activity types and cost center uh, i'm taking we, can see, we plan directly in cost element we can we can do but in this example it is just very very initial i am just explaining the process but it is possible technically it is possible you can you can have it okay okay here it is to just ex to just let you know how the data is flowing okay from one system to another system so that you will be clear that what we need to understand in in upcoming sessions okay so so here erp system uh, uh, we we need to load the data here in bw and uh, from bw analysis office will read the data okay so from bw analysis office will read the data it will take the loaded details and will 
present here okay so whatever the price you planned here in erp system it will be available in analysis office now and from analysis office your details will be available on application within cpm system so whatever is your cost calculated okay and whatever your revenue calculated it will appear in application of cpm system so data is flowing like this similarly when you are transferring let's say if you have already transferred the details here you transfer sorry you you plan the details here uh, you plan the cost you plan the revenue in analysis office okay so what is this cost and revenue you are you are considering it in your bid document and you are communicating to customer and once customer is saying yes it is okay for me and you are getting the contract so it means you need to start the project so in that case when you are planning any cost here you can transfer this cost to your project system okay so in that case also data will flow from here from cpm uh, application and analysis office all together to bw and from bw to erp system okay so we need to understand all these different systems we need to understand the cpm application we need to understand the analysis office functionality basic functions of analysis office basic functionality of bw and erp system here basic functionality because we will more focus on these two components okay analysis office and cpm but here at least basic things we should know in the bw and erp if you have already experience in ps uh, so that is you already uh, like that that is well and good but if uh, anybody uh, who's uh, doing the cpm system if he doesn't have the ps uh, exposure in much but at least uh, he should have uh, some basic knowledge like what is the structure how we can check the cost how we can check the revenue within system and cost center planning cost element planning so basic things you should know in the erp system so any question here uh, no run okay uh, next so how we are accessing uh, different application within cpm system okay uh this is based on the rules okay so sap has provided a standard rule okay so these rules are applicable globally in the system and uh, this is not specific to any project type project type means master project type and this master project type is the profile which is controlling a different functions within a system it is just like a project profile we have in project system okay so here all the roles are globally defined means if you have a access if you if if role is assigned to your id you will be able to open or to do any relevant transaction to any project or any type of project okay it will not system will not stop you so here it is a uh, it, it is it is it is like this it is not like how we are having in project system we can assign the roles based on the different criteria no it is globally defined here by the sap so what type of different roles we have here okay uh, standard rule first is for project workspace user so here sap divided these roles in a uh, user and uh, project manager okay so project manager will have authorization to create a object to change a object and to display the object but user will always have the authorization to display the object only okay and apart from that the user can execute bw queries because most of the information in cpm application will be taken from bw queries so he will be able to execute a bw query so here in this first place uh, the standard role project workspace user sap src pd pws user one so this is a user role another role for standard role project cost and revenue planning user so this is a sap src pd pfp user one and having this role user will be able to see the project cost and revenue planning okay and having this role user will be able to see 
the uh, the master project and all details okay sap sr cpd pws user one this is a composite role for user sap cpm user sap bpr cpd user one so here in this composite role these two roles workspace user and project cost and revenue planning user these two roles has been added okay if you want to assign sim single role you can use the single role or if you are looking to assign both the together then composite role can be assigned to the user again it's depend on the policy of organization in most of the organization they need to define only composite roles here is standard role for the project manager okay standard role for project manager project workspace and project cost and revenue planning so only single role is given here for workspace and project cost and revenue planning for project manager so this is the role sap sr cpd pm1 and for project issue and change management then another role is given and one more thing is given here see the issue and change management you can deploy with workspace and with project cost and revenue planning or in, in standalone also it can be used so if you are using see if if project issue and change management deployed with cacpd in that case the sap srcpd picm pm1 this is the role which we need to assign to uh, project manager okay and here the project issue and change management deployed as a standalone in that case the sap sr picm pm1 this is the role which we have to assign to project manager okay so this is all about roles here only these are the roles which is available uh, if you want to see the table and contents of all authorization you can see in the table to bj the table that contains all activities tact the table that contain definition of all authorization groups is tbrg okay i'll let you know i'll show you in the system how it is looking here so everybody uh, aware about the pfcg role how we can create a role in pfcg how we can analyze the roles in pfcg oh yeah then pfcg is your basis component yeah yeah paco is this clear for you uh, yes yes it's clear okay so one second let me log in into system so how you can access cpm system okay there are two uh, there are three different way first is uh, from sap gui you can directly log into gui okay and from gui through transaction nwbc netweaver business client you can open the system this is the one way another way directly to user you can provide this address here whatever address is coming you can provide to your user and they can directly access through this address there is no need to go to sap gui okay so what they will do they will come they will open the browser and they will access through this address so they can log in here and they can access the application another way they can access through fury apps okay so they can do the transaction through fury apps they can see the reports there okay so that is a third way 
and here in practice system we will go through address access or GUI access because we need to do the configuration also so configuration is available only in GUI okay so you need to do all the configuration in SPRO by accessing GUI only okay so let me come here on application when you are entering NWBC you will get a this page and here in left side you will get all the rules which is assigned to your user id so if you want to go for a specific application based on the role which is assigned to your user id then you can click on that particular role otherwise you can click on nwbc to see the full view of applications okay so you click on nwbc it will take you to here okay here the relevant ties okay you can see button here these are the based on the rules which is provided to user id uh, commercial project management and commercial project management rds project workspace commercial project management rds financial information all these things are related to cpm and portfolio management my portfolio object project management resource management portfolio and project administration it is relevant to ppm system so we will focus only in commercial project management here okay and under that you can have more sub tabs uh, home cross project view financial plan create dashboard reporting and cross project view when you click on cross project view <clears throat> so we can get the information of my project here okay so these are the project e-2001 this is a description project for testing customer who is the customer the timelines start it end it in what stage we are as of now for this project and uh, we can have the different categories here in which category my project is added favorite last exist and my project so these are the standard categories but we can create our own categories and we can add our project in that categories okay here it is coming the kpis okay whatever the kpis is configured we can get here in our cross project view and it is again as per our choice we have some standard kpis given in the system but we can keep only seven kpis on this screen so based on this we are getting information this is a cost project sorry cost within a project there's a change request issue progress revenue wip and debit we have choose for this so let's say if you want to change anything on this screen uh, you come to the option okay uh, view settings so you will see two areas here one is a manage category another is a manage kpis okay so categories means folders in which you are getting your project so you click on favorite these are the project last access project you will get it here so these are the standard and you cannot change all these categories okay so whenever you are accessing any project in last access last five project access you can see here if you have been assigned for any project as a responsible person or for any activities in that within a project you will get your project details here automatically okay it is in a standard if you want to add any new project which you have created as a favorite so you will your project will be available here on favorite apart from that let's say for a specific to me i'm seeing like all real estate project i want to keep in one category all it project i want to keep in another category so i can create my own category and i can shift i can uh, keep my project in that particular category so how i can do you need to go to options and you go to view settings and here you can add categories let us understand this uh, screen currency here it is showing in a euro means whatever the information will be available in cross project view it will be in euro you can change it if you want you can change it to usd as per your currency you can change so your in all information will be available within that currency 
okay so let's say if you want to change it to usd us dollar okay and here show decimals if you want to see the decimals values also you can select that one record in cross project view okay so how many records in cross project view you want to keep means how many projects so maximum 20 records you can keep and again you it is your choice how much how many you want to keep now you want to add one more categories here let's say add and uh, you say it's real estate projects yeah it is limitation here okay so real estate projects you can you click on display okay and save it yeah so you can see here a real estate project okay now if you want to add any project into real estate project so what you can do you click here and go to more go to move to okay so you can move your project from this category to real estate project you click here so now you can see here real estate project so your project is available here now so this is this is the way how you can define the categories how you can control the kpis okay you come here go to view settings these are the KPIs available in a standard system. Okay. Cost till current month, change, request, issue, progress, revenue. All these KPIs we will study in detail. It is to just see how you are controlling all the different uh, fields or different information in your cross project view. So let's say uh, if you want to add some more here, some more KPI. Let's say the earn value if you want to keep. When you will select it, and save system will provide you system will give you error you can display only seven k seven kpis so what you need to do you need to deselect some of kpis which you don't want let's say debit you don't want and now you want to add earn value so in that case you we deselected debit and we selected earn value so maximum we can keep seven kpis only so click on save Now this debit is removed from here and earn value is added. So accordingly, I'll get the details here. Let me change this TJLP because if I forget it, and then I have to change it. I'll keep it as Euro only because all the values we are calculating in Euro. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. So uh, for the authorization, I'll come uh, for the rules. I'll come back again because before make you uh, aware about like whatever the different screens we are controlling through these rules. We should know all this architecture. We should know all the application which is within a process of uh, any project. OK, so here this is a project E-2002. This is a description and how we are accessing the different screens or different transactions here uh, you click here okay view detail if you want to see the detail of master project you can click here view workspace 
so work is space is a place where we are having a different view of different transactions means it is a just like a 360 view of a complete process of project from starting from initiations to closer whatever the transaction is given in between sap has given a different view where they are combining a different transaction within it okay so if you want to see the details let me open first detail then i'll take you to workspace this is a project detail master project id description master project type this is a profile which is controlling all the functions stage this is like a status what is the stage of project as of now customer who is the customer organization professional services okay start date and end date and confidential no this is some data which we added so these are the user field if you compare with the project system these are the user field okay all this information we have in the master project and how we can see the work space you click here go to view work space so sap has given a different view here you can see the overview commercial view procurement view team overview financial plan issue and change management and apart from that risk management documents so what is given here it is just like a folder under that we are having a different files or this is a view which is having a multiple transaction within it all relevant transactions so if you see the commercial view commercial view this is a part this is an area where we are talking about our customer okay so here what we what information we will have the sales order we will have the quotation we will have the inquiry so all these details will be available here billing plan what are the transaction is being executed procurement view it is a vendor side so we will have the, the, the what is the purchase order what is the purchase requisition for this okay uh, what is the uh, what is the invoice values okay the purchase order history all these information we can see team overview it is the area where we are talking about our teams assigned people to my project okay and all the responsibilities assigned to my team members financial plan is the place where we are doing the project cost and revenue planning okay issue and change management whatever the issues or change changes are coming in my project cycle in that case i need to capture all these uh, all these changes here or all these issues here document we can integrate with dms so we can have this process here risk management whatever the risk is arising and which is we are which is planned from starting of project to closer of the project so we can maintain the risk register here we can track the risk okay we can manage the risk so let me show you one view here to just have some idea let's say this is a commercial project view okay you click here you can see here uh, the rate card editor you can see the billing plan you can see the billing plan cockpit but to see basic information click here okay so it is taking you to commercial commercial side means your customer side in left side it is showing ps project okay ps project which is assigned to master project okay and with reference to it it is showing the sales order what are the sales orders available but as of now for this project we don't have any sales order so that's why this information is not available sales order with reference to this sales order what is the billing plan and with reference to this billing plan and sales order what is the invoice and debit memo okay and then this is the aged debit report so we can see so all these things are in a standard system and here apart from all these sales order document flow so if you are doing any transaction on any sales order based on that you can get the sales order all the document flow how we are having in the erp system exactly so this is one of example and another let's see procurement view you click here 
it will take you to procurement side system is taking time yeah so here you can see this left side uh, the ps projects in right side purchase order open invoice with reference to this purchase order service entry sheet values okay and then purchase order history open purchase requisition means the purchase requisition for which the purchase requisition which is not converted into purchase order will be available here in open purchase requisition so here based on the view we can see a different transactions in that particular area okay uh, this is about the workspace and then next is view team details similarly we can see the team details also more here there are different transaction view status and trains okay status what is the status of project and what is the train as per my past experience what is the train is going on okay view contact person contact person can be a project manager or can be a responsible person from customer side vendor side all this information i can get it here view checklist activity what are the checklist activity we need to execute to complete uh, some area of project in that case we can maintain it and we can track it here view financial plan list financial plan when we are creating it it will be listed and we can access through this transactions open read card editor for a specific project we can have some specific reads and we can open it from here project activity list so project checklist and actively activity this is different so what are the actions we need to complete what are the actions we require to complete some task that has to be taken through personal activity list open risk register risk you can maintain in a risk register and you can open it from here okay and uh, this risk register we can maintain and again it is to uh, to move and all these uh, navigations you can do so this is uh, about cross project view i have some more things to explain here in cross project view and then i'll explain how you can uh, assign the rules which is given by sap standard rule and then i'll explain the administration guide also then we will go in the process because that is very important administration guide is very important to understand because there are lots of points which we need to uh, which we need to know okay so today's session i am just closing it here if you have any question just let me know please uh, ram i have a question so the master project is created in uh, erp system then master project will be created in cpm system cpm system okay. yeah okay so tomorrow i'll explain the admin guide and uh, you i'll communicate admin guide today if you are getting some times just go through of it okay so you will also have some idea and it will not looks like a new okay if you have some specific question just mark it and i'll try to address however this admin guide has to be followed by the basis guy and we as a as a cpm consultant it's not our responsibility to know all the installation and all but we, it is better to have because sometimes if you are stuck in any project so you will have idea where exactly we are getting this issue okay uh, ram so tomorrow we will be having the session or... tomorrow actually what we are thinking uh, we are planning to keep it is 3 days okay saturday sunday and monday okay okay so is this okay for you right kishore 
ये कितना 